It's the SGL tournament, so... I think this is the first randomizer I've done in general since the SGL tournament, actually. Also, thank you for the four months of Tier 1 Scourge. And thank you very much for the nine months of Prime EFAD. Also, yes, we are... Well, I don't, I don't think there's entrance logic yet because this is just no logic. It is... Or, like, the en like entrance randomization algorithms, depending on the game, can actually get very complicated. <laughs> um, just due to the fact that you obviously need to verify that the world can still be a valid one for uh, doing the randomizer. Honestly, I've never done... Uh, oh, so yeah, this is still the SGL file. Also, nice music. The very suspicious title screen. Also, thank you very much, Aaron Hay, for the 500 bits. And thank you very much for the good luck. Um, let's see. I think... I will simply... Add emote... Tracker here. Alright, okay, what happens if I go to this scene? Okay, well, I don't want that. Then. Eh, okay. This works, I suppose. And thank you for the good luck as well. Alright, so I don't even know if it's going to be possible to beat this seed because, again, it's... At least the entrances are no logic, but, uh... We'll see what happens. I'm excited to try and figure it out, even if it's really hard. I guess I should also mark that all the dungeons are required except Skykeep, because that's what I set. Nice music. Okay. Well, this isn't too bad. I don't think there's actually anything I can do, though. There's no checks in here. I mean, I guess we can start the trees. Uh, oh, wait, no, actually, I forgot I get the bottle here. This is actually a Sphere Zero check. I'm also starting with Sword because I read somewhere once that if you don't start with Sword, you can get locked out a lot easier in this. So we're starting with Goddess Sword. <laughs> I have one key piece, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot. Ah, okay, I can't do anything here. I can make a corrupt file now. That's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll pretend that the timer was going. Oh, I see. I mean, it'll probably just be good to have one anyway. Although I guess, wait, would... Oh no, because the title screen's still the same. The title screen's not randomized. Also, yes, this is... This seems like very appropriate music for Skyloft. That is very ominous game over music. Oh, oh, 
actually, hopefully this doesn't crash. Also, hold on a second. Or wait, no, never mind. Okay, it's fine. Thought I might have to go do something non-stream related for like a minute, but it seems like someone else is taking care of it. Back to this. Alright, so since we're actually on uh, Skyloft, we should probably get the chest that's up there. And also the checks from Alwyn. Yes, this randomizer was made by No Logic. No Logic is a user, obviously. Also, hello, Momomo. Mo, mo. uh, every entrance is randomized in this. So, like, when we started off the run, uh, we started in the bazaar. Alright, so this is left door. Ah, oh, okay. This is actually... Oh wait, do we need to uh, in the room? Best after Moblin has heart container. Rory's flame has gold ruby. Okay. I assume we need the uh Lanayru tablet for this to load properly. Unless that's updated, I don't remember. Call it. Let's go this way. Actually wait, can we? Yeah, we can, okay. Well no, it's claw shots in the base game. What is this music? Oh, it's chasing plats. Nice. <laughs> Alright, well, we have five gratitude crystals and a wallet upgrade. Or an extra wallet, not a wallet upgrade. Ooh, whose house is this? Uh, this is... Oh, nice. This is, uh... Pietrus's house. This is useful. Alright, that's probably one I should write down. Uh, sealed grounds... To sealed temple... Is... Teresa's house. Oh, there's actually a check that I can get here. Well, I will have to swim over there, which is very slow. Because <laughs> we do not have water dragon scale. Interesting music, though. It's weird hearing this music, like, underwater. No, yeah, everything is, like, randomized and decoupled, so, like, where you go, uh, it's like, if, for example, exiting the, uh, water dragon lair will take me to Farron Woods, that doesn't mean that going back through where I came will take me back to the water dragon lair. Oh, nice. Ouch. Oh, wow, we actually got a sword. Our first... Item that we need. And of course, it's in the uh, water dragon lair. <laughs> also, hello, Spark. Oh, uh oh. Ah, uh, would I be able to make that? Probably not. Ah, uh, Gondo's house. Yeah, I probably want to write down water dragon lair to. Uh... Water Dragon Lair to Lake Floria is um, Volcano Summit. Ooh, Betro's house. 
All right, well, this is a very convenient path. Honey! Oh, where is Betro? There he is. Also, thank you very much, Z-Linky, for the 18 months of Tier 1. Okay, so I should also write down access to Betro's house. So we have Volcano Summit to um, VS Pond area, I guess is Betro's house. Yeah. Also, thank you for the good luck, Mao the Human. This could be tough. Ooh, a dungeon. With almost the right music. I can't do anything here, though. Actually, I can get one check. So thank you very much, Biohazard Empire, for the 28 months of Prime. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna put this on YouTube. So until we get Hook Beetle or Whip, this is all we can do. Oh, a mining facility. Mark off this as I can. One of them are going to get this other room. Ouch. <laughs> Thank you. Also, thank you very much, Raystorm, for gifting Orange Chef a Tier 1 subscription. Oh, this is the... This is the end of the minecart ride. Oh, hey, look at that. The game thinks it's nighttime because there are stars in the sky right now. Neat. Also, thank you, Hi Wayland, for the three months, or excuse me, for the 16 months of Prime. And thank you for the good luck. Ooh, okay, let's get some crystals. I'm not sure when it became, or no, it became nighttime when I slept, of course. Uh, Beatrice's house. And also, we can finally get the first check. And then we got Owlin. And we got Chester's statue. I did not look at, or I was not paying attention to what I got, but I don't think it was important because I didn't hear the important item jingle. Okay, yeah. Please. Ah, this is going to morning. Yeah, so there are... Well, m most of these entrances are just room ones in the Academy. The only ones that actually matter are the left and right doors that lead to Skyloft. And a blue ruby. Oh, this is nice music. Take the left door. Ah. Ah, did I go? No, I didn't go through this entrance. Actually, I guess that's a convenient way to make it nighttime and then go out. the harp itself. Ah, uh, the music is sad because the music is shuffled. Okay, it's Din's power. But it's not important, so that's good. Also, yes, I'm sorry, but I had to vandalize. Got this entrance. I mean, I had to get Din's power. Oh, okay, this is a place with a lot of checks. I guess three that I can do right now. Blue bird feather. But I also turned on goddess cubes, so I'll want to hit this. Alright, well, never mind. 
I guess we're not getting that one yet. Also, thank you very much, Dirk Obsidian, for the seven months of Tier 1. through the other door. Uh, I guess we'll make it nighttime again. Well, no, I mean, because I didn't start with, um... I didn't start with a pouch, so... Um... I can't, like, hold anything that would require the pouch, like a bottle. Alright, this time we're gonna go out the right door. Oh, never mind, the right door's... Oh yeah, this door's locked in, I forgot. We'll go at one of these doors. Uh, I've written down a few of the important ones. Uh, that I need to remember. Oh, nice. Almost vanilla. Let's see. That one... Oh, because I won't be able to see here. I hit one goddess cube, but I don't remember where that goddess cube, uh... leads to. So, so far, two of the... Or Knight Academy entrances just go back to Skyloft, which I guess isn't surprising because there are a lot of entrances onto Skyloft. Also, hello, Sylvent. So yes, it is all dungeons. But we could be here for a while, but that's okay. I mean, HD has nice quality of life changes. Um, although, I mean, the randomizer kind of implements most of those quality of life changes anyway, so... As far as the randomizer is concerned, it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, so, um, if I want to know where, uh, like, the cube is that I got, I would have to... Oh, I forgot, you can't go into the bazaar at night. I would have to, um, fly onto the regular sky map. I feel like I probably need to find the waterfall cave. Thrill digger. Chest behind a bomb wall near cliff has rupor 
just behind first crawl space has root bore. All right, well, we know where two of the root bores are. Okay, this works. Ah, uh, no, the loading zones to the sky aren't randomized, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, maybe this doesn't work. There is no rope. This log push down? Ow. Something here seems incorrect. Oh, right, because of nighttime. Okay, that makes sense. That's why there's nothing here. Ooh, okay. Another gratitude crystal, I suppose. We have another betrayal reward we can go get. Ah, let's... Yeah, let's just go. Actually, no, there's a hint stone here. Oh, wait, this is the sky. Uh, more root bores. Beetle. Oh, I guess I didn't hit the, uh... Actually, I guess it's probably my demon thunderhead. I don't think there's... I guess there's the other hint stones I can go get. Oh, wait, I can't call my bird at night, of course. Oh, never mind. We are confined to the pumpkin. Ah, yes. Layer zero of the sealed temple. In which there is no door, but there's still collision, because why not? Also, collision here for some reason. I can leave through the left door here. Ah, okay, maybe we should just make it daytime again. I'll say yes, pretty much all the songs in this game are good. Also, thank you for the three months of Prime, Alake. Congratulations on the yellow badge. Ooh, sky view. Um, how did we get there? Sealed grounds. Or not sealed grounds. Sealed temple. Left door. To behind the temple. Sky view. Thank you very much, Azriel Makai. Azriel Makai for the tier one subscription. Right here, enjoying the rando. Well, right, I got to Skyview from inside a house, but to get inside that house, I went through the sealed temple to behind the temple left door. Because, like, once I go in there, there's really nowhere else to go except to uh, back through, like, the door again. I guess I could technically get to the other room if I do the map chest jump. I can't reach that crystal over there. So thank you for the good luck, Orsley. Uh, okay, well, I guess I have to do this twice. Actually, I could hit these. If we could actually aim this way. Okay, well, he doesn't want to do that. Ah, 
Oh, I could have just rolled through the second one, but for some reason I was hesitant about that. Ah, yes, the vanilla map. I don't even remember what the angle I want for this is. Probably not going to try to do that. We will simply leave the temple. I don't know. Doors in dungeons are not going to be randomized anytime soon unless they lead to loading zones. Okay, well, I guess Skyview Temple just leads to Fire Sanctuary. And I can't do anything here. And I don't think the music wants me to anyway. Ah, and it just takes us back to the sealed grounds. Excellent. Oh, we found the tumbleweed. Baron Wood's slingshot has a progressive wallet. Uh, let's go through this entrance. Oh, okay, nice. Well, I guess we don't need to go through that entrance ever. Got a cube here. Well, no. Um, what I meant earlier was that entrances are not coupled together the way that, like, you would sort of expect them to be. Every entrance will always lead to the same place, um, but going through, like, going through an entrance to a new area and then leaving that area the way you came will not put you back in the area you originally came from. Oh, and we're back in the temple. Except now it's layer one or something, so I can exit through this door. Also, thank you for the good luck, Nintendame. I don't think I can do anything here. Let's leave. Er, alright, actually I should have probably gotten the... gotten the statue. Oh, oh and we're back here. Let's go check this entrance. Ooh. Alright, well, I don't know how, well, I guess somewhere I had to lead to out here. More gratitude crystals. Uh, I believe an entrance could technically lead to itself, yeah. At least with the way it's currently handled, because logic does not, like, account for that at all. I mean, generally you don't want to do that because that'll increase, like, the chances of an entrance placement failure, but it kind of just depends on the game. And this is Love and Birdie's house. Yeah, this is on hero mode. Uh... What entrance is that? Alright, well, we're in Lanayru. Oh, Desert from LMF, right. Um, because you don't want to just get put up onto where LMF would be. Yeah, that makes sense. Statues up here. 
Yeah, we can get the tumbleweed chest. I just wanted to get this statue up here. Also, I guess clear this cutscene. Wait, no, this okay, this cutscene is still like this. Okay, I'll drink water. I guess we could also bit warp to the one other chest that's on top of the claw shot space. Which I guess we could actually just do from here. It'd be most convenient. No, we need uh, bombs to be able to get to the party wheel. Any tips on how to beat Imprison 2? Uh, I mean, the speedrun strategy for Imprison 2 is a little bit tricky to learn, but... Um, I mean, I think the easiest way is to just, like, always use the Grusinator to stun the Imprisoned and then jump on its head, pretty much. Also, thank you very much, Marcelin, for the 12 months of Tier 1. <laughs> Congratulations on the one year of support. Well, no, you don't have to attack the toes. That's one way you can make it work, but it's not, like, uh, required or anything. Alright, so this gets us up here so we can get one more chest. Guess we don't have to buy the wooden shield later. Back on Skyloft. I should probably mark that I got the goddess chest. Let me plant. Okay. Let's try going back into this door. The slingshot will give me a progressive wallet, but I think we'll just do that. <laughs> Old magma music. land down here. Okay. The evil Kikui is upon us. I'm in 
to see what was up on the tree there. So let's see what's on top of the thing. Looks like an afternoon buzz. Welcome to. Okay, it's a gold skull. We'll get it anyway. Welcome to. The entrances are all random. And the music is also random. Because this is also my first time playing with uh, the music randomizer. Okay, title screen music. Hey, we got the roll. I think. Yeah. So now these cutscenes play in the wrong order. Yes, this run is going to have lots of plot holes. Because this is an HD, I can simply do this, and Erla will not move. Briefly had some really nice music. So I'm pretty sure that was either Fi's farewell or Fi's gratitude. All right, what's Buka's music going to be? It's very somber. The all wise Buka. Also, thank you very much. I can't see my chin for the 11 months of Prime. Only at one more month until the blue badge. Just gonna run around and get that you up there, also. Probably should have gotten this the first time I went here, but oh well. Also, thank you for the good luck, Cicada. Alright, um, 
Which entrance should we leave through? Do early Lake Floria and leave through that one. it wasn't the Silent Realm, like, the aggressive Silent Realm theme of getting caught. Ooh, okay, well, I have to be quick for this. Little crystal. Oh, darn it, I was trying to make it. Well, now I should be able to make it. I think I should still be able to make it, but I'm going to save here anyway. Okay, yeah, no. Now I can make it to the chest, though. <laughs> and then we can die and make it back to the beginning. to stay in the Thunderhead. Oh, interesting. Alright, well, nothing we can do here. Ooh! Alright. Finally get this chest. Which is also Sphere Zero. Ah, that would have been... That would have been useful, like, a minute ago. <laughs> Oh wait, this is good. Now I can just go through that same path again. We can go through the Thunderhead. Actually, wait, do I even need any gear? Oh yeah, I do, because I created the hero mode file from nothing. Assuming that I, like, wanted any potions, well, I guess I don't really need a potion now. Um, I have fire shield earrings. Alright. The reason I keep the Wii Remote UI on. Um... I mean, I'm just kind of used to it, because in speedruns we never turn it off. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So this is the chest that we want. I guess we can fly over here first, though. We get to this chest. This is weird because, like, you have, or at least, like, with the way the entrance randomizer currently works, you have to think of logic as if there is no entrance randomizer. <laughs> this music is very appropriate for Thunderhead, I feel like. Oh, wait, there's no hint stone here. Or wait, am I at the wrong island? 
I think I was at the wrong island. The stone says... Uh, a, okay, a pouch at Rickety Coaster and Shed Chest has a rare treasure. Actually, wait, can we even leave the Thunderhead? No. Alright, well, I guess we just have to go back this way. I guess we could also call Phi, but if we actually wanted to leave, we have to do that. Oh, this is nice music. Phi is gratitude. This time, I guess we'll exit through the right door. I guess go to somewhere different. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go back into Betro's house. Also, thank you for the good luck fastest. Ooh, Samsu. Samsu from where? So this is Sand Sea from the Sand Ship uh, exit. And apparently there's going to be an ocean battle at some point. Ooh, okay. Get two checks here, because I already have the long sword. Also, thank you very much for the three months of Tier 1, Sammy Boy. Money and money. All right. Ooh, all right. This is the fourth dungeon that we've found. I don't think I can do anything, though, because I don't have Water Dragon scale. Unless I wanted to do back in time stuff. I guess I technically don't need Water Dragon scale, but I'm not going through, uh, that. I don't think I can even get map chest, because I need whip to get up to it there. Oh, wait, no, this this is NTSC 1.0. I can do sister clip. I can at least get the boss key chest. Assuming this entrance isn't randomized, but maybe it is. <laughs> we'll have to find out. Um, I guess, yeah, I don't have water dragon scale, but... track that is. More money. Oh, it's Buka? I guess it must be Buka. Oh, 
Oh, wait, actually, I think Buka's theme was the theme that plays when the statue was falling down. Uh, I mean, I guess we can get inside there, but we don't have boss key, so... Not much we can really do. Ooh. Um, yeah, I guess we could just get this goddess cube. Ah, no, we can't get the whip check, because we'd either need the small key or the water dragon scale. Neither of which I have. I'll go through a different entrance this time. And we're back in the neighborhood. Oh, I didn't get this, uh... Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have to brake slide this. If I wanna get over there. Oh, wait, no, I don't. What the fuck about? Or wait. Oh, no, yeah, I don't. I can just go over here. I that this existed. Probably get the goddess cubes in this area, I just realized. I kind of forgot about, or at least like the ones that are here. Oh, did I not talk to the bird? Must have spaced out with that, but yeah, I do want to get the bird statue. I was so focused on the goddess cubes. Even though I think there's only two here that I can get right now. Actually, I guess... Good. No. Faster. It's probably faster to just die here to get back to where I was. Specifically using the bomb flowers and not the... Instead of having to run all the way back over there. We probably still need to find the waterfall cave somehow. Wherever it is. Oh, Earth Temple. Ooh, this is nice music. And I immediately got owned. <laughs> Yeah, 
as perfect for a place that's covered in lava. Get rid of this and be safe. Ah, Rando's pretty interesting so far. It's interesting how even in no logic, you can kind of still do things. Or with no logic entrance randomizer, you can kind of still do things. There's quite a, there's actually a lot we can do in Earth Temple, even if we don't uh, have any bombs, or if we don't have any items at all. Like, get some Elden Ore. Yeah, the entrances are decoupled. There's no logic to uh, <laughs> where any of the entrance placements are. Alright, Cecil, so we'll see you later. Hope that class is good. Also, yes, we do really need a pouch. <laughs> I mean, the bottle doesn't really lock a whole lot. It is possible that, like, the randomizer could be uncompletable, depending on, uh, what's required. But even if it's technically uncompletable, we might be able to finesse some back-in-time stuff somehow to make it work. Yeah, I'll probably still upload it even if I don't complete it. I mean, it would probably take us a while to figure out that it's uncompletable. I've already been able to do, like... I mean, because there's still also a lot of entrances that I haven't checked. And we got the boss key. I guess this technically means... Um... We can do boss key skip. Or not boss key skip, but we could complete the rest of the temple if we want. Nice seat, Central. <laughs> so I think we'll probably do that because that means that um, we'll be able to get a few more chests. first B-wheel item is the bug net. That's gonna be a huge troll. I'd rather get something else besides the bug net. Entrances are still randomized in back in time. That's a good point. Um. I feel like one of the academy doors led to the academy. I also didn't check fixed bit crashes, so this could be kind of dangerous. Yeah. 
caves. What was it? Yeah, I think this way can technically get me to Beatrice's house. Make sure we loaded this file so that nothing crashes. Or at least we have at least chance of crashing. Right, and then going into Sealed Temple. Ouch. Was what led to uh, Pietrus's house. Oh, right. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, maybe we should just leave Earth Temple then. We at least tried. We did get a hint for a pouch, which I think was on uh, the rickety coaster mini game. So there is a pouch there, but we haven't found that part of Sansi yet. I think that crash has something to do with the camera? I'm actually not sure. Well, I mean, the crashes in Skyward Sword are, like, relatively consistent for the most part. This is the great tree inside, but with no water. Oh, because it's nighttime, probably. Or wait, is it? No, it's not nighttime. Just because we don't have water dragon scale, I don't think. Oh, we can't activate that loading zone. Alright, so I think here we're technically stuck. Um, oh, okay, sealed ground's landing cutscene. Oh, you can go there? Confused. <laughs> also, a nice sword. Like the the depth perception in my brain was not interpreting that correctly. Oh, back to the lumpy pumpkin. can't do anything, so we will simply choose the left door outside. Oh. Dark head. That place is scary. Ah, okay. Another Sphere Zero check. Oh, it was the whip. Alright, well, I, 
guess we can do stuff in Cistern now, actually. At least some stuff. We can't do, like, everything because we still don't have Water Dragon scale. And this is the front side of the shark head. Or not the shark head, but... I should be able to get through here, actually, because I have whip. I mean, actually, even if I don't have whip, I think you can still get through here. But whip makes it more convenient. Oh my goodness. In the pirate stronghold. Oh, wow, yeah, the music actually has, uh... Or, wait, is Lanayru music... Like, does... Does Lanayru music have to always be shuffled to other Lanayru music because of past and present shenanigans? Ow. Okay, because both, the, like, the main Lanayru desert... And now, uh, the shark head. Both had when they were music. We'll see you later. Thank you for the good luck and for watching today. Alright, so here, um, I can just die. Because I don't need to actually really open up the shark head. Hello. Gus Bellow, so I wouldn't be able to defeat the two enemies anyway. Alright, if I need to get the shark head cube, then yeah. Alright, back onto Skyloft. Um, let's just go back into this house now. I know, well, I mean, you technically could write items to your inventory if you can get those items in back in time. But if you can't get those items in back in time, then you can't write them. Also... Actually, I don't think I can play the Rickety Coaster minigame, can I? Because I didn't defeat... Or can you just play it right away? Oh, no, I can't. I guess this music isn't randomized. I've a batter, it just happened to be the Nilla.
Well, no, back in time is extremely useful in speedruns. You just can't specifically use it to write items to your inventory. At least in a way that's, like, practical. Back in time is mostly used for, like, scene and story flag uh, manipulation. Oh, okay, so the minigame would be locked behind me, I suppose. Actually, wait, isn't there a hint stone right here? Vent chest has goddess plume. Ah, yes. Wait. What was that second one? Beetle's Island K.O. Cage goddess chest. But yeah, so for an item randomizer, it wouldn't really do much. And back to the lumpy pumpkin. Actually, I forgot there's a gratitude crystal I can get here. So we'll get that now. I mean, that would kind of defeat the point of a, you know, an item randomizer. So it's probably not something I would do anyway, even if it was possible. Let's see, I think last time we checked the left door, so this time we'll do right. Oh, okay. Finding all the shark head stuff. The ship was indeed not here. Oh, nice. Almost vanilla. They're in the rocks. Um, yeah, I should probably actually check regular. If I can. It's not gonna be, uh... Any of the Koblins here. Am I going to be able to do anything up here? They don't have, um, digging nets. Yeah, it's nighttime. I forgot to change it back to day after getting the Gratitude Crystal. I guess this makes it convenient because we don't have to worry about the Bacoblins. pretty good today. Trying to hopefully complete a Skyward Sword entrance randomizer. And not be locked out of anything. So far, we've been able to find every dungeon except for Sandship, which is a good sign because I did require all the dungeons. So there's no time goal, though. 
Also, thank you very much, Raid, for the 32 months of Tier 1. Uh, I would say Entrance Randomizer is pretty fun so far. Although it usually is for, like, a game that at least I've never experienced it in before. I'm gonna drop down this way. Please. Yeah, because that's closer to here anyway. Oh right, the trial gate. We do have Din's power, although I don't have the harp, so I can't really do much with that. Group or that's not what we want. Um, okay, yeah, so I can't go there. Guess this means the only entrance I can really get to is Volcano Summit. Yeah, I think that report was hinted. <laughs> Uh, I could probably set the tracker, currently just ignore all logic so I can check things off. the one in the shed. Oh, okay, I can get that one. And then we'll choose someone's house to go into. Oh, okay. I guess that's a way to quickly warp to this side of Skyloft. Uh, we checked that one. I don't think we checked this one. Uh, okay. Get the Hintstone and the Bird Statue. Just behind two eyes has small bomb bag. The Tro 70 Crystal's second reward has red rupee. Oh, here we are again. Uh, I think I pushed that log down. Huh? 
I did set the Rupor mode to added, so there are more Rupors in the pool than there would normally be. Oh wait, I forgot there's a fence here. Hmm. Can Link fall down that far, but when you do it IRL, you break your legs. Um, because Link does not adhere to the same physics that we do. Actually, let's try going back this way. Oh, okay. Oh, nice music. Sounds like we're still underwater. Oh, okay, back into the Night Academy. Ah, I see, I don't think there's anything else I can immediately do here. I should probably go to the sky. door leads to Skyloft. Also, hey, Zantito, thank you for the good luck. Okay. There are probably some goddess cubes that, uh, or some goddess chests that I can get in the sky. by entering uh okay no I guess that's uh, the one on the outside chest left of main room bridge all right I think we got that one and I'm also key chest as well HD Rando is not being planned currently. Definitely also talk to Oreo. sure which one this is. Like it's... Oh, 
Entrances are coupled. This is just pure no logic decoupled, which isn't actually that bad so far. I'm also not sure if I can get the one that's like all the way across the sky. Actually, I guess before that we can go talk to Harrow to get that one check. Ah, uh, that's on the sky loft here. Very good news. We definitely could have had that a lot sooner. Means that we will be able to do things. Let's see, this one is all the way over there. Oops, silver rupee way. Haha. My money. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this. I don't know which one it is, but I did just get bombs. Not that one. It's that one. Okay, now we'll go into Elden. Mushroom spores are in the bomb bag. Oh, that makes sense. I see. Because that's where you put the mushroom spores, of course. I guess this is just regular the first time. Actually, I guess it makes sense for all of these to be regular, because things would get really weird if these weren't. Good news is we can do a lot of checks here now. Ancient sister now. It's like we can actually go through Elden Volcano. just find everything here. And 
there's the legendary tumbleweed, of course. Ah, I don't think I'll be able to do this. I guess I will get the tumbleweed, don't worry. Just what we needed. Alright, we have picked up the tumbleweed. The seed is now valid. So I'm gonna go over and trigger this cutscene real quickly. I did kind of forget about circles, though, so sorry. Hey! Well, yes, Impa is very scary. Let's fall down into here. And we're out. And we're gonna go back in on this side. Oh, okay, nice. Another fast way of warping around Skyloft. Ah, Lake Floria. And we're not gonna be stuck! Oh man. We actually have the water dragon scale. Yeah, left door and right door are different because they're different entrances. Because the entrance is different depending on which door Link enters the area into. house. Back out we go. Back to the bazaar. I still don't have an item pouch. Ooh, okay. 
or rupees that won't count. This is Zelda heart piece. Zelda's room single. More money that I can't use. Back to daytime. And I don't think we've gone out the right entrance here. For the good luck kick hut. Alright, back out we go. Basically vanilla, but with a few steps in between. Uh, still just that one. And... Oh, wait, I can get that one actually, because I have water dragon scale. Pretty sure the chest in this shed just has a red ruby. Entrance is uh, Moldirect. Uh, I haven't gone out of this entrance yet. See, that other entrance goes to the Tro's house. I don't think I can get. I have 19 crystals. Oh, actually, I need 30, I guess, for the next two rewards. Oh, we're back here. Oh, right, well, this is unironically another place that I wanted to be. <laughs> Alright, Sammy boy, enjoy the new Batman. Hope you have a good time. Also, hello, Lex. Right, well, we have now cleared Lake Floor. Yeah. 
I'm gonna get back up after you get into this position is annoying. Cause this is just gonna take us back to Volcano Summit. And then I guess we'll just exit by going into Batro's house. So weirdly enough, those two entrances did get coupled together. I don't think this is randomized. Yeah, okay. I think we will just have to leave until we get some kind of projectile weapon. Actually, I can do stuff in here. Or wait, this is the one I haven't been to yet. I can still do stuff, though. Going over here doesn't really help me. I can't throw the thing up. But I can't get these chests right here. Ooh, okay. It'll be useful for when we get back to Elden Volcano. Also, thank you for the good luck, Gaspatsu. Um, 
Let's see, I think we'll just go to the Farron entrance now. And properly set that cutscene trigger. Jessnix. Right. We made it to this side. I've done Skyward Sword randomizer before, but I haven't done entrance randomizer. Just near first trap, Magma has five bombs. And first landing has heart piece. We finally got the adventure pouch. Alright, excellent. I can finally hold a bottle. Can you make this? where the Skyview entrance takes us. Into Sandship, maybe? Yeah. I think the only chest I can get here is, um, the one, like, at the bottom here. Since I do not have a bow. This is a pretty sensible place for the sand ship. I'm sure this is vanilla music. Alright. And do one more check. I should be Oh, right. The deck and the inside are different. I forgot about that.
All right. What music is Skurvo going to have? Also, this fight's going to be annoying because I don't have a shield. Ah, it's pretty close. This is the Gear Him 2 music. arrived well when you play this game enough you can just kind of like tell what area the music that's playing is supposed to be for right, well nothing in sand ship so far but we don't have bow so not surprising that we were not quite able to make too much progress in the sand ship We do still have to exit the sand ship, though. Ah! Ah, uh, thank you, Fanny. Uh... Oh, play time. Get objective. Oh, it is objective, okay. Okay, so this takes us back to the start of the... or to the root of the world graph. Actually, I guess I can just grab stuff. Yes, please. I... Fields... Two bottles. Thank you. Ow. Nice layering. I will exit up this way. Right, because that gets us here, which is also a place that we can stuff in. Actually, is it possible to get this without the beetle?
Stone of Trials. Well, I don't have Sky Keep on, so. Oh, I guess Sky Keep's entrance is randomized, so. It might be necessary. Damage invincibility. Yeah, this chest is one that's, like, pretty difficult to find just casually. <laughs> and I think we can technically get to it now, even though we don't have, um... Even though we don't have claw shots. Alright, back out we go. Let's try a different house this time. Ah, uh, okay. This is... Actually, there's a chest I can get now. Actually, I can kind of do stuff here now that I have bombs. Checks I can't get are the West Desert. I did get chest near trial, and then I'm going to get the party wheel chest and the party wheel now, because I already talked to Dodo. Oh, okay, there's the master sword. So we have our sword requirement for being able to get to the end of the game. Uh, the Stone of Trials is what you use to open up the Skykeep dungeon. Oh, Skyloft. Yeah, that was back-to-back -back swords. Excuse me, I'm not 
What music is this? Very far off from like what music should actually be for Scrapper. Dusk Relic. Uh, party wheel chest. It might indeed be time for fun. Oh, yeah, I didn't mark it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah. So exiting Lanayru takes us here. And I don't have Gust Billows, so... Skykeep. This is this is weirdly inappropriate for Skykeep. There's not gonna be anything here because the one chest has a small key. Yeah, it makes it a lot less intimidating. Ah, the pumpkin. Uh, okay, we got some more chests that we can get here in the sky. Right, and we wanted to deliver scrap anyway. Uh, oh wait, and there's one on the lumpy pumpkin. I think I checked again. Anyway, is it the one down here? Oh yeah, that's right. This is one of the ones in Farron Woods. No, you can't randomize the doors in dungeons that lead between rooms. I mean, like if like if you worked hard enough and like knew how to modify everything correctly, you could. But that's not something that's practical to do in any sense. And there are some that are loading zones, but I'm pretty sure those are not right. I don't think bosses to bosses, or like, dungeon to boss rooms are randomized at all. <laughs> this will give us the Oriel Crystals. A projectile weapon. A limited one, but still a projectile weapon. Okay, I could see bosses being weird. 
Which version of Skyward Sword do I like the most? Uh, for casual play HD, for speedrunning HD and the original are kind of the same for me. It'll be Dodo Crystals, and then we'll also get a wonderful chance to play the Fun Fun Island minigame now. Oh, this is a good fanfare. <laughs> Vanilla crystals. Yes. Yes. All right, it is now time for the mandatory fun to begin. We're going shopping. Done the thing. <laughs> Alan's letter. All right. Thanks for the money. This side, though. And we lost money. <laughs> Very good. ratio from the goddess. I don't think the goddess is that mean. Uh, there's a loading zone inside the sand, like, like Link walks into the loading zone when he opens up the sand ship boss door. Also, yes, we have now once again arrived at Bruce Land. Actually be getting any potions, but better than having the cursed metal. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did forget to push down the log earlier. I'm pretty sure the Kikui is okay with uh, what's going on right now. I haven't gone through this entrance yet. is not quite where we wanted to be. I think yeah, there's a goddess chest in here. But on the side of the Isle of Songs. Oh man, Link is vibrating. More money! Which a lot of didn't really get used. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go until uh, we either beat it or we get stuck. I'd probably write that down for uh, Thunderhead. Um, Theron Woods to Deep Woods. through this entrance. Ah, here we are. I'm surprised I forgot about this goddess cube earlier. Now we can do all the digging bits checks, though. Well, yeah, Pepper did figure out something interesting uh, as far as, like, doing death trick with cutscenes goes, but who knows if it'll actually end up being useful. Just mostly because of the map and entrance requirements that it has. I guess I could have just thrown a bomb from down there. The goddess boom. I don't know, there's not gonna be a randomizer for the HD version anytime soon. Oh, 
I'm surprised that actually made contact. <laughs> Ultradeck Heart Container has Red Rupee. Chest behind bars has Heart Piece. Okay. Yeah, Link can drink between loading zones, that's true. Oh, nice. I missed. We'll admit defeat and go back up. Oh, what the heck? It did not go where we wanted it to. Going to be added to our total. I still don't have claw shots, so I have to take the slow way up here. I guess I could have just gone up at the beginning. Oh well. So didn't make the bridge come down. Link does have very impressive strength. Especially in his fingertips, considering how many ledges he can just grab onto. I didn't know those rupees were so We still need the claw shots if we want to get the heart piece. Mark off the bow. Oh, nice vanilla keys. Well, I know you can death warp, but you need the claw shots. Or no, you don't need the claw shots to get up there. Right, never mind. I was thinking about the exit way. So yeah. Let's see where... Actually, wait, have I done everything here? Um, at least everything that I can, like, reasonably do. I got all five key pieces. Um, got those three cubes. Oh, I didn't check the um, real digger exit, I guess. Huh? 
Also, hey, Pepper. Thank you for the good luck. Ah, uh, the rando's pretty fun. I thankfully have a good set of items now that I can do things with. So, I think we'll probably be able to complete the seed. Oh, nice. Alright, um... Cool. <laughs> All right, now we're back here. Okay. Let's go through this entrance. Interesting. I don't think there's anything I can do here, because I don't have claw shots. I guess I could jump down to this chest. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got a hint that this chest wasn't useful, though. I actually I should have taken the dolly down and then taken it back up to see what that entrance was. I'll just actually I won't leave. To the sea. Which is actually Skyloft. Oh, we can put the Stone of Trials in. A good thing to do. The entrances aren't coupled. This one is harder. Um, the other one. I'll try it one more time. Isn't this where you're supposed to dive from? Or are you able to get to it from that one? I guess that one would probably make more sense than this one. for the good luck paper J designs. If you enjoy watching the speed content. I wanted to get to it from here. Okay, yeah, that's a lot easier. <laughs> Which just had... Got 
Hottest chest on island closest to Farron Pillar has silver ruby. Chest on platform you find out has progressive wallet. This music is different. Also, thank you very much, Zolku, for the 17 months of Tier 1. Oh boy, indeed. This is an interesting experience. Ooh, the Waterfall Cave. Could be some good stuff in here. Like a golden skull, of course. And a beetle's insect. We have not found Beetle's shop yet. Statue. to the sealed grounds. Yeah, well, let's check the other door here. Oh, right, that's way to this. All right, well, let's check this then. Okay, let's check this then. And let's check this then. <laughs> There's a, a path of entrances we have not checked yet. And let's check this then. Probably, actually, where does um, where does leaving Farron take me? Okay. Man, I didn't check this one yet. See, to Sharkhead is back to Farron Woods. Oh, not Farron Weeds, Farron Woods. There we go. Pfft. 
free fence hop. Pretty much. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already checked leaving here. We tried Sharkhead. We haven't tried docking at Skipper's Retreat yet. Oh, that's interesting, right? I wonder if it's room based, if that's the case. Probably try leaving for more statues. Though. Statue. Oh yeah, the statue's all the way down. Flash oh, shot her heart first. This is an interesting prediction. Chest. I'm gonna go get the small key chest. to set up the randomizer. You can just, like, download, uh, like, one of the nightly executables and run it. I mean, with where we are, I guess now we don't, we don't need the claw shots to get anything here. Also, thank you very much, Yellow Otter Lull, for the five months of Prime. It's true, only one more month until half a year and the green badge. Thank you for the continued support. Alright, that's a small key chest. Because uh, I don't have claw shots, I'll just do Sister and Cliff again and then go back up. Or first I'll get Whip Chest. Okay, 
Dang, less title. And then he has a watch right there, so. Use the bomb flower to get out. Oh yeah, if you can make it to the vines, you can get the map chest. Nice. <laughs> Not that it really matters with our current ruby count. Ancient Cistern does have two keys, so... Mine's just in the Bacal one have to be the two small keys. I don't think I actually have to do any of this. can have it, I guess we'll see that when we get to Coactos. I don't think the bosses can have it, at least last that I checked. Because I set the setting for the small keys to be the uh, Lanayru Caves key only. For, like, being anywhere. And then I think the others are just, like, own dungeon restricted. I know that the Gearhim heart container, or the, no, the Kalakdos heart container is not um, a small key because we got a hint saying it was a red ruby, or either that or Ferrari's Courage was a red ruby. But not Ferrari's Courage, the Ferrari's Flame. One of the two things at the end of Ancient Cistern is a red ruby. There are two keys here, right? Yeah. We'll just say we got both of them. <laughs> ah, yes, the appropriate gear him theme. <sighs> So majestic. All right, time to go for a little flight. I 
should have waited, Deuce. Okay, but you do need to wait for the attack. Wait, I was trying to do the, uh... The one cycle is just the Master Sword. Calming second phase of Kalakdos. This is definitely a fight that's great to meditate to. Oh, yeah, I did have the doesn't really matter. It was pretty quick anyway. I know a heart container. successfully completed one dungeon. Eh, it's not important about where the card went. Hmm? Oh, I guess... Oh, that's coming from the Water Dragon Lair. And here we are again. So we have Colin's letter now, which means that we can do the uh, Colin's letter stuff. I got Zelda's wardrobe like a while ago. Oh, 
music is not appropriate. to lower left door is Skyloft. Oh wait, I forgot. I had uh, I had a Kikwi to deliver. I forgot about. Oh, actually, I should be able to do, um, now that I have bow, I can do the pumpkin archery minigame. Pumpkin Archery minigame. Times two. I feel like a medal with a heart on it is maybe a little misleading if you're giving it to somebody as a symbol of friendship. Pumpkin archery. Also, thank you very much, Rogist, for the 14 months of Prime. Ah, bamboo. Dodo's crystal has crystal. Best in breakable boulder near Fun Fun Island has goddess harp. Alright, so we know where the goddess harp is, but we can't get to it yet. Nice. So, spiral charge is required. Ah, yes. 
go through this entrance this time. I already went through this entrance. For some reason I thought I didn't end up here ever. Ah, excellent. Stone guy. I mean, yeah, if, if we somehow get into a situation where I know where both claw shots and harp are, then I guess you guys are just at my will. See, I think the two eyes chest was useless, but we're gonna go and get it anyway, to be sure. Well, we do know where the harp is, so that's... I mean, I guess that's not really an advantage for harp. here. Is this a small key? No. We'll just use back in time to skip the three eyes chest. Because to get the second small key, um... We are going to need the beetle normally.
we'll just pretend that we got that small key. This music fits somewhat, I would say. Just is vanilla. And we already got the map, so we're not going to be getting the map in either of these next two checks. But instead, we'll get an evil crystal. And the H. A very legendary H. I guess it kind of does look like Theta if you look at it correctly. The golden carving is a lot more obviously H, though. Well, yeah, the fight is really quick because it doesn't expect you to have, like, any sword upgrades at this point, so Girahim's health is scaled appropriately. We've now entered the Scary Spring. No, I didn't set it to Mayhem, I just set it to Added. Oh my goodness. 
this practice sword bilocyte. Please no. <laughs> A small quiver. Ah, yes. Um, I don't have claw shots. Still do. Stuff here. Also actually said that we beat the sky view. The key. The guaranteed always vanilla key. First route outside. Yeah, unless I do back in time stuff, that's basically all I can do. Well, we got our two keys. This one that we went I guess these both lead to the same place. So the outer door isn't. Okay. They don't think I've gone into Paro and Oriel's house yet. I guess I can talk to Paro again. Oh. Crystals. Jeez, crystals. Hey, I got the cave chests. Uh, I didn't get any of those. I don't have claw shots. 
and reward from the trove. I still only have 29 crystals. the next D. I'm doing pretty good. Trying to solve the entrance randomizer. Oh, now we're all the way up here. Go through this entrance. Dark head. I guess we could always go do sand ship right now. Yeah. I believe we do have all the stuff to do sand ship. I actually know where the sand ship entrance is. Did I not check that? I thought I'd definitely check that bird statue, but I guess not. In which case, I guess we're not going back to Sandship. Let's see, are there any more goddess chests that are available that I can get? Yes. bring logic to a video game. I suppose that's true. Some Skyloft entrance that led back to inside the academy. I want to say it was the goddess statue. Oh, that's the lumpy pumpkin. Also, thank you for the five bits, Familia. Did indeed get the blue ruby. Also nice. Back here again. I think this went to Farron.
This led back to Farron. cube here. Uh, well, I guess... Also, thank you for the good luck at Danielson. Also, yes, there is a lot that goes into... <laughs> Trying to get your bearings straight during an entrance randomizer. Still only have 29 crystals. Yeah, the Summit to Frog's entrance goes to the Water Dragon Lair. Uh, oh, I can do more stuff here now. Oh, Dust Bellows. I never went to East Wing originally because I didn't have a projectile or the beetle to hit the time shift stone in this room with, but now I do. For the best of luck, Medic Well. I will definitely need it. So I, I basically still need stuff to complete Fire Sanctuary. find my way to all of the temples. I have no idea how long it'll take. I have to find things first. At least one minute is a uh, correct act. Or is a correct assessment though. Very good. 
Yeah, with back in time... I can only realistically get, like, one more chest, and I know that that chest is useless. Unfortunately, we did not find anything more useful here. Once we get the Gust Bellows, we can full clear it, though. Also, hello, Rocky. Thank you very much for the 52 months of Tier 1. The random mama 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 miser is tricky, but we're making our way through as best we can. Land. A piece of heart. Ah, so let's see. That is... Owl and Crystals. Also, thank you very much for the good luck, Full Metal Dragon. Thank you for the 14 months of Tier 1 as well. Ah, uh, we still can't come to this place. So we still do not have the beetle. Still just that. Uh, I think we went into Ruben's house already. I don't think we went into Love and Birdie's house. I know we did. A while ago. And we're back here, where we still can't do anything because. Actually, no, there is an entrance here I haven't checked. Which is the entrance all the way to the north. Uh, entrances are not coupled together, no. Each entrance, um, I mean, each entrance always leads to the same place, but, like, if you go from area A to area B, going from area B to area will not necessarily link back to area A. We should probably buy that, though. A Rupor? Thank you. Suppose we'll buy the Ballad of the Goddess. This is also a very scary shop. You have a question. Huh? 
Beetle just loves taking my money. I guess that would make sense, though. And I guess we'll buy the red rupee for 50 rupees. I don't think we'll buy the red rupee for a thousand rupees. At least not right now. Uh, oh, this is Ariel. Oriel and Peros house, not Ariel. Ooh, and we can finally get 30 crystals. This means we can finally enter Lanayru, though. Oh, nice. Um, I guess we'll just fly back into the Thunderhead now. And come out here. Now we're making some kind of progress, at least, though. It means that we can also exit the Thunderhead when we go in. Pumpkin Landing. Go get that goddess chest. Can I tell Beetle he is stinky? Uh, I don't think that's a text option anywhere, so probably not. that option coming to randomizer. Uh, the rando is interesting. So I actually know that the landing chest here is useless. Got a hint saying that it was useless. Actually, I should... Oh, and I should get the cube here. Where's that? We'll be able to get all of these chests. So, successfully clear the mine entrance. Oh boy. Hey. Why was I not able to end that text box quickly? I got scared for a second there that I was gonna like softlock or something. 
interesting. I think Linkus will catch up with me and Minnie on the Wind Waker All Dungeons speedrun. Uh, I don't know, it depends on how much he practices and does runs. if we want to use that. Ah, yes. Back out here again. Um... I need to get back to sand ship. Oh, you can't jump up here. The sand ship is a dungeon that I can complete. way around here to uh, get the goddess cube. Wait, I just don't remember where it is. I remember, um, well, I know where Saint Ship is, I just don't remember how to get back to, um, the deep woods. Specifically the deep woods from the Skyview entrance. Oh, wait, am I even able to do this?
Actually, I'm pretty sure there is some slingshot that you can do this. has heart metal. Oh, what? Uh, hmm. This fella is in the way. been helped. Ah, yes, the accurate map. I mean, this is an area that you can very easily skip even in no back in time, so. Like, this is an area that's pretty much never been in the speedrun. Aside from, like, getting this cube in 100%. Oh, now we can go back through this entrance. Yeah, you skip the robot part in 100% because the robot's, like, moved already. Oh, hello. Uh, I haven't gone through all of these entrances, actually. side of the waterfall cave leads to the statue of the goddess. Let's back to the Laniru caves. I assume the gorge entrance is not randomized. means that I can actually do this entrance now, though. 
Hey, I'm kind of surprised there wasn't a cutscene there either. Okay. okay I think we've actually gone through all of the houses on Skyloft. Um, I'm gonna go back to Farron. And take the other Lake Floria entrances. Well, the entrances are different each time. Well, not not each time you go through them, because then, like, that doesn't guarantee you can actually beat the game. And it would kind of get old pretty quickly. If every, like, if entrances were always random all the time. This gets us back to the King Summit, though. Which is convenient, because then I can get more Betrayal Rewards. Good luck, DK Demon. Okay. 40. Well, the Water Dragon Son of a Hero. for crystals. Uh, let's see, are there any more... Or where are the other goddess chests? This is not the sky. <laughs> also, hello, tonic dust. Thank you for the good luck. Doing pretty good trying to figure out how to best make some more progress in the entrance randomizer. Pretty sure. Left one here is Skywalk. Still that one. I do want to go back to Farron to get the other Lake Floria entrance. Ooh, we got two over there. Now they're like over here, all the way in the northeastern sky. Yes, we have been hydrated. And we will do so again. Is one of them over here? No. Yeah. Is this one... The bug net? Great progress. One of the ones up here. 
here. Okay, thankfully it's the one on top, so I can actually get it. seals the darkness. I don't know about that, but it is a bug net. Supposed to go to Farron Woods. Okay. Alright, oh, this is where all the muted sound was. still going because we well we know where harp is but we can't get it because we don't have the spiral charge and we've never found claw shots The actual problem here is that I actually didn't check the forest temple bird statue. And I should have. Otherwise, I would have been able to get back to Sandship pretty quickly. Ah, here we are. I need to get to Thunderhead. I don't remember how we got to Earth Temple that one time either. That's something else that I should have written down. should have done was written down how I can get to like everywhere from Skyloft more or less. Pretty sure I can get to Farron by going through the statue of the goddess though. Good likelihood that there's something here. So this is progress. Or at least hopefully it'll be. Is 
because now we can also take the other entrance out of here. Check. us back to the volcano. Which gets us here. Leads here. Hey, was that vanilla? I think it might have been. Skipper's retreat just warps us back here. <laughs> Which is one of the only other places we can go. And I already got all these rewards. Also, thank you very much, Catamon, for the 12 months of Tier 1. Congratulations on the one year of support. And thank you once again for the animated emote. Okay, I can get to Thunderhead from here. There's at least two other things that I can do in Thunderhead. Also, thank you for the good luck Minecraft sounds. Actually, I'm not sure if we can get that one. But we can at least take the Thunderhead exit. Because I'm pretty sure all of these are caged. Can we play the Bug Heaven minigame? Forgot that this was a thing. Because we do have the Bug Net. music kind of works. I don't think I need this one. Oh, we did. Okay. Okay, I did both of these. We 
We don't need the ladybug. Take our exit. Oh, is it that entrance in the main room? Yeah, because I did only go through that once. So that makes sense. The one that's supposed to lead to this area. I currently have the Master Sword. Alright, we can get to that from here. I guess while we're over here, I can just do this lightning node. Or this water node. We still need Hook Beetle before we can uh, get to the last one. That's not an arch. What entrance was it then? Oh, the other one. I thought I went through the other one at some point, like recently. Ah, I was just getting posted the shark. 
Of this one? Oh, I guess this is this is what was meant by the arch. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> complete the Earth Temple. But yes, thank you, Fastest. Joshua for the 33 months of tier 3. That is a lot of months of tier 3, so thank you very much for the continued support and for being here. Sell for money. Music would work really well if this was like the ancient sister. Also, thank you for the good luck, Jack and Manning. Oh, wait, I can't do this. I don't have the beetle. like go through the skyloft entrances and see if I could get to a bed from any of them and then get back from that bed to skyloft uh, to do the shed opening RVM. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I guess one of the training hall doors did. Oh right, I forgot you could also just do it with Pippet, that's a good point. <laughs> I guess I'll just bit save a file here right now. We'll save this over here. Uh, resave it on Skyloft, and then this should have the flags for opening up the door. Although I do have Ballad of the Goddess, so this will also have the flags for triggering the Ballad of the Goddess cutscene. to one Zelda song every day for the rest of my life, what would it be? Uh, I don't know. Probably any song would get really old really quickly. It isn't really a good choice. Also, thank you very much, Novabren, for the eight months of Tier 1. Oh yeah, if you go back from watching HD to seeing this, this definitely looks very different. one of the academy doors was it? Aren't all doors? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> we picked the right one. Should be a 
temporary flag. gonna take a while so we'll just we should just be able to save and quit this I'm pretty sure this key chest is gonna have spiral charge oh boy can't find the beetle back here at the very least. Yeah, we do know where Harp is, but we also know that it means that the spiral charge is required. Guess there wasn't really much of a choice there. At least we will soon have beaten three dungeons. Ah, I see, Joshua. You swindled them. to be refilling on bombs, though.
flaming chocolate evil. This does not sound like a good combination, I feel like. He might have had funny music. I should have let it play out. Sixty. Thankfully, that was not a soft lock. Alright, now we need to figure out how to get back to Sand Ship. Side of here. I still can't go through that other entrance because I don't have Gus Bellows. And out we are. Here you are again. <laughs> well, the cutscene there, um, like, played the first time I came.
Well, right, the Skyview Temple entrance was, uh, what led to Sandship, but I don't remember how to get into Deep Woods is the problem. And the other problem is that I um, didn't check the Deep Woods statue, so I can't fly back there by going into Farron. So, nice jump. Also these other entrances, but I don't assume we can get to these entrances. Um, you'd never be able to get to them in a randomizer anyway. to the cave. Oh, back here. Ah, yes. I'm just trying to get back to the sky so they can go back down into Farron. I guess this works. Oh, 
good thing I pushed this log down. <laughs> I remember getting here fairly quickly, though. Yeah, here we go. Oh, nice. Machi has been saved. And of course, it says Grooseland music. All right, into the ship. Also desperately short on arrows. So we shall need to go get some more of those. Well, unfortunately, all the Bacoblins did have to be knocked off. long death sequence. For the good luck, Elena. I think there should have been some kind of amiibo compatibility with Skyward Sword Link. Um, I mean. It would have made sense if they did. I don't know if I would say there needed to be. There didn't need to be amiibo compatibility, like, with anything. But it's just another way for Nintendo to make money. And it did help the speedrun by just cutting out boring backtracking, so I was fine with it.
It's an interesting music transition to go from inside to outside the sand ship. I mean, they could have done, uh, like, stuff with the other amiibo, but I feel like they were mostly focused on, like, like, if there was going to be amiibo compatibility, they were going to sell a new amiibo for it, so that, like, people would actually have to buy an amiibo. And then also, like, just touch and pretty up the game, basically, without adding many extra things. to the treasure room. we have the whip so we can get there. We're probably going to get at least, um, or we should be getting at least one small key in here. Because the, the small key can't be on the boss key chest. I guess it could be on the brig. Uh, this is the most checks that we've gotten in a while. We have a second adventure pouch. Or not a second one, an upgrade to ours. Squid carving. Uh, are there people who don't think that Skyward Swords claw shots look cool? that adventure pouch upgrade, that would have been mean.
Use the dev intended shortcuts. Oh yeah, so like the term hot take usually means that like it's like it's an unpopular opinion or it's like an opinion that's uh, going to spark some kind of controversy, which is where like the term hot being used for it comes from, I think. If you don't know what it means, you can just always ask. I should give Crystal and Joshi your cookies. party of 16. I'll see, yes, this has been a very long prediction. Did you get sub 4 and 14 keys? Oh wait, this is not... I'm supposed to shoot the lifeboat now. Beat me at Mario Party again. I have to give Joshi and Crystal cookies. Okay, it's a deal. Also, thank you very much, Dahlia, for the 20 months of Prime. Glad that you enjoyed the new emote. It is a very good emote, in my opinion. I see, yeah, 14 keys may have been a little tough if that was the manual super swim success rate for the day. This is quite the appropriate music for the situation.
What music will play now? Ah, yes. Same one as Karakos, but it's still fun. It's just the uh, entrances that are no logic. The item placement itself is still actually using logic to make sure that you can, like, uh, lock things on individual maps. For instance, we're not going to find the claw shots inside Sandship or, uh, like anywhere in Sam City. Or behind any claw shot locked goddess cubes or anything like that. No, completely no logic has, like, is mostly unbeatable in Skyrim Sword. Just because of how many requirements uh, there tend to be for things. I mean, this boss is pretty slow, so I think the music fits. I mean, most of the things right now, um, that we'd be able to get are still locked behind, like, things, uh, we don't have, like, claw shots or gust billows, or harp, or spiral charge. though, unless we find the other one. Alright, we'll 
save just for safety. Ah, what was the previous comment? See, what is there to do that is not one? I mean, there's a bunch of goddess sh or like, what can I do that's not locked behind items that I don't have? I guess there's, I can like, buy stuff from Beetle, um, if I get enough rupees. Oh, then I have to figure out how to get back into Ruben's house. I don't remember how I got to Beetle also. <laughs> There's a bit of an issue. One, that's another entrance that I never went through. Um, now let's go to Betro again. Get the 50 check. No, oh, I wasn't part of that speedrun. Because I was not at HDQ 2014. It was the 50 check. Alright. Now we can do things. A lot more things. Ah, uh, not here, though. Still need Gus Bellows. So whoever guessed that we'd find claw shots first, you were correct. Prediction is now over. Let's go a shot up on the west side. Behind digging has root form. Okay, that's actually good to know. Means I don't have to worry about going to Volcano Summit uh, again. this one
Well, I can get a lot more goddess cubes with the claw shots now is the thing. Which is why claw shots are going to open up a lot of checks. Stupid side hop you can do. I'll just go drown in the water and respawn back up. And there's also the entrance back there to check. And now it's time to go die in the water again. This is pretty ominous game over music. And back out we are. Let's go do some Laneru uh, stuff now. Yeah. Now that I have claw shots, I can get all the stuff at Skipper's Retreat, for instance. I can also get the Harbor Cube. Ancient Harbor Cube first. And there's also the cube in the main, uh, the cube and the chests in the main area of Laneru. Go check this entrance now. Oh, and we can actually get the check in uh, the Laneru Caves. Because Golo will finally be there. Ah, 
know. Currently, the entrance randomizer is just no logic. Right, that takes us back into here. Somewhere that is not Farron Woods, ideally. No, the bird statues will take you to different places. This is not where I want it to be. Did I ever exit the Thunderhead? I probably did, but I don't remember. So all the loading sequences, or at least most of the loading sequences, are random. Oh yeah, it's okay, Undertale fan. It's just a question. Oh, wait, we were just in the bazaar. Fi, take me back to the bazaar, please. No, the fire sanctuary connections aren't random. Highly in shield. Still need to find the 
Gust Bellows, and the Spiral Charge at the very least. And probably the Magma Mitts, if I had to guess. Or, and probably the Hook Wheel, actually, not probably the Magma Mitts. The Magma Mitts I can get around, I think. Also, yes, it has been five hours since we started. Definitely doesn't feel like five hours, but... It... Five hours. Try to beat the no bit record. I don't think we'll be done in half an hour, unfortunately. We still have to go through Fire Sanctuary. Um, Anti-remining facility. As soon as we find the gust bellows and probably a hook beetle. And then we have obviously need heart to like actually beat the game. I'm not sure I want to quite do Death Trick. So since I don't know how to set up a, a file that can do Farinbit in Rando. I, mean, I don't think there'd be a way for like Spiral Charge to be locked at this point. Because I can access like pretty much every map. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this over here was hinted to be a progressive wallet, but we'll just get it anyway. Yeah. But that means I can carry a lot more rupees. If you play this game enough, you'll get used to the stamina beeps. Uh, we'll also go pick up... Um, crystal Ball. Yeah, 
So most of what's left to collect is pretty much just all locked behind goddess chests or stuff that we don't have at this point. Uh, claws were on Batro 50. I also still don't have the C chart. I guess the trigger for Sparrow is still on the outside, isn't it? Or was that moved to the inside? But obviously it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense if you can just go from the outside. Uh, that was useless. We did indeed find claw shots first. I'm guessing that uh, the spiral charge is probably locked behind claw shots somehow. This was the first Zelda game with a stamina meter, I believe, yeah. And then Link Between Worlds followed it up with one, or at least sort of one. Link Between Worlds was like magic and stamina. I need to get the cube. Oh, hello. <laughs> 
Take me back, Fi. I know, boss rush is not something that's, like, considered. Which reminds me, I need to get back to Laneru Caves at some point. Two more cubes in Farron. I'm pretty sure you should be able to open the key. Oh yeah, that's right. That is how we get to forge. I guess we could just do that now since we can. Also, Scrapper is now upside down. Pray for Scrapper. Definitely found Love and Birdie's house a few times, but I don't remember where. Oh wait, is this their house? Oh, okay. Cool. I like accidentally succeeding at things. Sword Horde and Gear Him 3 being in any percent? Why would that be in any percent? Oh, fourth key piece. Oh, with the new death trick technique. I mean, I didn't think it would be useful for any percent because, um, Like, we don't have a way of dying inside the sealed temple unless we go out of our way to get bombs now.
where is oh there it is baby crystals oh yeah that's true if it completely avoids opening the gate of time then it would definitely be worth it to get bombs again I think I vaguely remember how to get back there. Oh, before we do that, let's go to Sparrow's house. Jim's blindfolded. I have I'm currently not blindfolded. I could have checked, I guess, if there were any goddess chests in the sky I could open. Yeah, so this probably wouldn't be here in future entrance rando, but it's here now, so... That sounds correct, uh, Raid. Should go get the cube again, though. Uh, eh, that's. Or wait, I can just fly into Volcano Summit to get the cube. Actually, is that the? Oh no, that's not the night. Thank you. 
Okay, and this gets us this cube. That's a hello no clip you. I'm doing pretty good. Trying to find the Gus Bellows and also the Spyro Charge. Opportunity I get. Right, let's go get to the cube atop Skyview Temple next. Or in Lake Floria. I don't know which one. Welcome to Grooseland once again. Teeny game guru. Oops. Uh, the seed is beginning to get a little tedious, but. I still have things that I can do, so we shall keep doing the things. Okay, so that's the one inside me. Just to to find Beal's shop again to get it. Uh, so... Water Dragon still is just chilling over there, waiting for us to get out of the temple. Oh, I guess you could dive right in, yeah. Although I need to go back to Beetle's shop anyway to buy stuff.
might have made eight percent worse again. I'm sure it's fine, Pepper. Still the goddess cube under Fun Fun Island. Which is what that one is. It shouldn't be possible, it's just that you have to just time it really weirdly. Tony for the 10 months of tier 1. Uh, I'm still missing the goddess harp. I know where it is, but I can't get it yet because I need the spiral charge to be able to get it. So now I'm going to go into the thunderhead so that I can get one of the goddess chests that I can get in there. I know that I can get to the Thunderhead by going from Farron Woods to Deep I'm not sure where Bellows could be. Um, or I'm, not, I'm still not sure how, like... Like, I'm sure there are ways that I could be locked out of technically beating the seed, but I feel like they're pretty small at this point. Ah, what the hell are Let's go attempt to beat Fire Sanctuary. Of course, that means we have to find Skyview Temple again, because Skyview Temple is what leads us to Fire Sanctuary. Actually, I think Skyview Temple is enter. That's not to do with Lumpy Pumpkin. But we enter the single door of Lumpy Pumpkin. It's not here. Oh. 
quickly gonna sleep today to also help advance Beatrice, because we still haven't done. <laughs> uh, Beatrice, actually, I wonder if I can get the advancement for her father already. Oh yeah, that's true, right? I haven't advanced that far enough. Thankfully, sleeping is not randomized. <laughs> I was supposed to talk to Beatrice. I'll fight again and do that. Suppose we could just advance all of uh interest text right now, or at least as much as we can. Yeah, so wherever your first spawn point is in this ring, or in the entrance randomizer, is where Phi will teleport you back to. Because it's one of the ways that you can ensure that uh, the randomizer will work from a logic perspective once there's actually logic in place. Is by always giving the player access to the root of the world graph. Maybe it was one of the other doors. Or one of the other doors inside the sealed temple, I should say. No, the sky, like going between Skyloft and the sky.
There we go. <laughs> Prison is approaching. Black Stag, and welcome back, Jade. Here in Fire Sanctuary, there are a bunch of more things that we can check. Pretty much all loading zones. Not loading zones that are like in dungeons though. So like the transition between the two fire temple maps is not randomized for the fire sanctuary maps. Map chest our game would be hard. Well actually I can get to uh, the academy from one of the entrances in the skyloft. Though it should still be possible to do some of the mysterious crystals. Third small key there. Place down it. There you go. Ah, rip. There goes a rupee.
brute force. I'm gonna go back somewhere I can get damaged to not waste all these bombs. Now it's time to do a lot of RBMs. I think we'll do Platt's chest and um, the other thing first. We'll, we'll do map chest and then plats and then if we don't find something then we'll do uh, the ones for the boss cube chest. Supposed to supposed to have the file open already. I'm pretty sure. If this works anymore, but whatever. We'll try. Now this one is just talking to Fledge, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oops, I didn't actually, like, hit reset.
Yeah, I think that's the one for Platts. And now we shall do the bit warp. Still haven't found the third part of the song of the hero either. No, yeah, I was just using, like, the wrong muscle memory. Not necessary at all to actually go into there. So this gets us every chest, um, dungeon, except for the third small key chest and, like, the boss key chest currently. Use RBMs to get the boss key chest. important lizard tail. Entrance randomization is random. Is what I have learned.
was useless. We will simply proceed to do back in time for me. see so what it is it it's bizarre and lower academy i'm pretty sure not the fastest way to get to this yeah. uh, no logic means that the randomizer did not take into account whether or not the game is actually beatable when it placed uh all of these entrances that it's placing. Or, like, when it placed the uh, entrances for this entrance. Oh yeah, so the seed could just straight up be unbeatable somehow. Because um, I don't currently have all the items that I need to beat the seed. I'm still looking for the spiral charge and also the gust bellows. And the harp, but I know where the harp is and I can get the harp if I get the spiral charge. can't be a key or the map on uh, the third small key chest. Oh yeah, and I can also actually go into the linear mining facility entrance now. Good thing. The Master Sword made it faster than it otherwise would have been. Fourth bottle. 
what's the music in this cutscene? Scary flame. I think we should run away from it. I beat the, uh, I beat Skyview Temple, but he's not here. So I forgot what the exact trigger is for that. Oh yeah, you need harp, that's probably it. How do we get to fire node? I think one of the nodes is back here. No. Also, yes, we have indeed reached six hours. Only nine more hours to go. I hope not. Personally. locked behind magma mitts. Um, I can't get any of those things in sealed grounds. There was some time early on in the run where I found um, the pond area. Volcano Summit. Because I remember I got the Goddess Cube there really early, and then just left because I didn't have Claw Shots, so I didn't get the chest that was there.
death I've had in this game? Uh, I have no idea. I've died quite a lot of times in this game. The barrel one was pretty good, but that wasn't like during a run. That was just kind of funny. the clip to the barrel, like in chat if you have it, Jade. Beatrice that we love her, because that's just faster to do than reject her. is in 60 FPS because it's of uh, Skyward Sword HD and not the original Skyward Sword, which is what this is. Also, hello, little Tanuki. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, entrance shuffle would be a better term, but everybody already says entrance random. Also get the chest on top of LMF now. See where this entrance leads. Ah, yes. Nice. Already done everything we can do here, and I know that Din's power is useless. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, most of the time in Skyward Sword runs, we don't have the shield equipped because it can get in the way of rolling. Okay, so I think the only thing that's still logically available, I want to say, is Beetle? No, I haven't gotten to the Temple of Time statue yet. Ah, uh, because I haven't been able to complete Linear Mining Facility. Down the crystal ball quest. The true. Actually, I don't think. Um, let me try going from deep woods to Farron Woods. Because I'm pretty sure I only ever did that once or twice. Well, I'm pretty sure I've already found all of the places that, like, I need to go. Um, like, I don't think I'm missing any map locations at this point. Uh, definitely wasn't that. Interesting, but I never went through that door. Oh, I can't do the Lumpy Pumpkin quest. Um... Because I don't have the heart. I mean, I could start it, but I wouldn't be able to get to any point in it where I would actually be able to do anything. still trying to find things. Um, oh wait, I never... It went back up here. Okay. 
Oh, here it is. Maybe something good? This is our Skyview and Fire Sanctuary section. To move on at this point, we definitely need either Spiral Charge or Billows. Because all the Harp stuff is locked behind uh, Spiral Charge. to do the checking the VOD strategy. And this should be actually not too bad, I don't think. Um, because of the fact that... Um, yeah, I found inside the goddess statue. That when I found Beetle's shop, Beetle had the amber tablet. Um... I can just check to see when I got the Amber Tablet. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, is that the north entrance out of Lumiere Room? Oh, okay, yeah, so it's the entrance from... Lanayru to, uh... From the, the Lanayru Desert back to the Lanayru Mines. Sensu, what I was. 
There it is. We should just be able to see what it is. And then know if it's useful or not. Okay. Bye bye, Beetle. finally found the spiral charge, which is going to give us access to the harp here in a minute. There it is. Alright, still no questions. But... Let's see what the other breakable boulder has, and then we'll go to um, the Lanayru trial. And now we can also do, like, other harp-related things. This is why nothing was in Earth Temple. So, hopefully.
These music tracks do not line up. <laughs> We're going for a fun time catching bugs. <laughs> now this music is actually appropriate. <laughs> I wish there was a, like, good way to have input display for, uh, like, Wii motions and stuff. Because it is, like, like, because Heart Cancel is one of those things where it's, like, you really... Like, you need to have someone watch you do it and, like, explain what the motions are to, like, truly understand it if you don't, like, just happen to get it already. Please be the gust bellows and not just a crystal pack or something. Pretty please. <laughs> Darn it. I can technically get the last five, like, freestanding gratitude crystals.
Actually, I don't know why I'm just not right. Take me back. No, I haven't. Oh, wow, that was the wrong one. No, I haven't done Kina Crystals. I was gonna do the Skyloft Harp related stuff first. Yes, you do need harp to get Kina crystals. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I was supposed to sleep tonight. Make sure the toilet is okay. Are fledged crystals a thing yet? I thought you had to like beat LMF for them, unless that was changed. Actually, I did write down where Patro is. I can get to a number of places I could get to. So I know that I can get to Patro if I can get to Volcano Summit. No, I didn't turn on Shuffle Dungeons. Maybe we should go do Levias, because that is in logic also. <laughs> this is definitely taking longer than I was hoping, though, but we'll find the Gusbillas eventually, I believe. Actually, that's really convenient for when we need to go get the magma. Your 15 hour prediction is still possible? I mean, I guess so. to Farron. Farron Woods to Deep Woods gets us to Thunderhead. And Scrapper is going inverted. Yo. 
Yeah, it's just like a side effect of going really fast. Because in the randomizer, the uh, top speed of your loft wing is increased to like three times its normal speed or something. Ah yes, this will go on YouTube. I should have let the cutscene play because I I know what music was about to play there. Not quite the correct music for this fight, but we'll take it. Secret, even more evil phase of Leviathan. I got some mellows. We guessed correctly, sort of. Finally beat the game. Not like that though. Okay, now I actually have to find out uh, or figure out how to get back to Volcano Summit though. I guess we can also get the last few Betrothal rewards for fun. Hey, hey. 
I think one of them's a red ruby. Ah, yes, the ancient sea shirt. Well, I guess we completed, or I guess not completed, but we mostly completed the tracker. Don't know where Ferrari's courage ran off to, or the last part of the song of the hero, but thankfully we don't need them. Logic as in the randomizer is not going to verify if the world's actually beatable when it places all of them. What you're thinking of the man is called decoupled entrances, but these entrances are also decoupled in addition to being uh, no logic. It's sort of like a test build for, uh, like, entrance randomizer functionally working in the game. So the entrances themselves are just all completely randomized for the most part, but the items get placed as if entrance randomizer is off. So you can't have items placed in a way where, like, items will lock themselves out on an individual map. Which reduces the chances of, like, a saw block happening, or, like, a dead end happening. pretty good. I'm excited that this is almost over. I just gotta beat LMF and then go beat the end of the game. Which means basically just finding the boss key at this point. for this first chest earlier, so I know that I don't need to check it, but it's just like a red movie or something. Wow, 
bottle number five. Alright, well, we found all the bottles. slow here, so I don't even know if we'll do that. Uh, currently, the only item I need to finish the game is the boss key for this dungeon, but I know that the boss key will be somewhere in the dungeon, so I only have to search the checks that are in the dungeon. Okay, now we have to figure out how we're going to get back to the sealed grounds. Or the sealed temple. I do not remember how to get back there. We'll also listen to the uh, very good boss intro music again. Is there any here? Oh yeah, there is.
It fits pretty good, but it's a little more triumphant than scary. It's like, congratulations, you did it. You found the boss. what this item is. Another <laughs> Also, thank you very much, Clamps, for the 21 months of time. I don't think we need to do fledged crystals now. <laughs> yeah, this has gone on a lot. I don't know about a lot later, but... Later than my streams normally do. the sealed grounds, not sealed grounds, the sealed temple pretty early. Skyloft. I guess we could open up this and see where this leads. Kind of fits, actually.
Ah, oh, not quite. So seal the grounds. Somehow we got onto sealed grounds on layer zero really early on. Or the sealed temple. Probably try uh, Beatrice's house and then if that's not it, I'll just go back and look at the VOD. CNC is not generally a good place to be. Very easy to get lost. Okay, so it was nighttime here. Went into the waterfall cave to find Thrill Digger. Took us to deep woods where we couldn't do anything. So we left. Just a lumpy pumpkin at night. Oh, okay, so lumpy pumpkin. Hopefully I'll be done within like the next 10 minutes or so. Got the true master sword, even. How lovely. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have Ferrari's courage. Oh, he doesn't do the funny thing. Oh, I think that was patched out a while ago. Really? 
rigged. <laughs> I don't think this was rigged. The funny thing only happens if Impa's not there, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's see how well I can do this. Actually, let's see what the music is. Oh, that's boring music. A very somber horde play, apparently. Mr. Deucer. Uh, the last set of Bokos didn't spawn in probably because, like, like if the game determines that there's, like, not enough memory for them to spawn in or something, it won't spawn them in during the horde. Like, if there's too many of the other ones on screen or still loaded. How cute, he's transforming. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, the music tracks are random. None of the music tracks are, like, well, I think a few of them are set in certain places, but that's only if they're, like, vanilla ones specifically. Also, thank you very much, Mr. Deucer, for the $5 donation. In hot Twitch cash, of course. Music jumped the gun there a little bit. <laughs> Who's ready to fight Demise on Skyloft? You know, it's just a peaceful day. Very peaceful defeat of Demise. <laughs> but at least the seed was beatable. Oh, is that track titled Romance Theme? Actually, I don't know if it fits so well then. Also, thank you very much, Joshua, for the 100 bits. And thank you, Raid, for the two Tier 1 gift subs to the community. Well, I didn't do Blindfold the Demise because I wanted to instead focus on what the music was. Because I thought, or I was hoping that the music would be funny. Ah, uh, no, there is no randomizer for Skyward Sword HD. Also, thank you very much, Familia, for the 707 bits. But yes, that was our... Or at least me trying out the Skyward Sword entrance randomizer. It was all sanity, so, like, every check was on, and it did take us seven hours, so... That was definitely a thing. But it was fun. Um, looking forward to there being... Proper entrance randomizer logic, hopefully soon. Actually, well, I, guess, I don't know if it matters too much. Because, I mean, no logic still kind of works well. It's really hard to keep track of with, like, decoupled entrances and whatnot, but... I think that's okay. Oh, this music's not shuffled. Congratulations, Master Link. Hash Wisdom Kalak Champ Nehru. That is a good hash. Thank you for playing Skyward Sword Randomizer. That's a good message. Feels like there's gonna be some joke post credit scene now. Anyway. Uh, I think that's going to be it from me for today. 
Um, tomorrow we're doing even more randomizer stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing a Wind Waker randomizer race against Linkus tomorrow at my normal stream time. Um, because we're going to be submitting a Wind Waker randomizer race for SGDQ this year, so... That's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And then, depending on how long that takes, I'll probably just do a few all dungeons attempts afterwards, so... Uh, that will be happening then. So hopefully I will see you guys all tomorrow. Uh, but with that, I am out, so... Goodbye, and have a good day. <laughs>